What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. As I am greeted by Stacy Longstockings, I'm here to get my free gun here on my free to play account and I'm going to give you guys our full on 5 hour, oh my god, 5 hour testing from top to bottom about our Go Gun He character release. Uh, first off though, I do want to say a couple of things. Thank you for all of you guys who just joined. We did nine hour, 10 hours today actually of streaming. Uh, first hour was uh, Black Myth Wukong, which I'll do more of. Uh, and then the rest of it was all gun he. And let me tell you guys, a um, couple, couple highlights that I'll show you guys later on. First thing we're going to talk about is free to play players. Um, do you want to summon for him? I'm going to tell you guys right now. If you get an A1 for free, if we do get an A1 for free, which looks like we will be getting an A1 for free, I would suggest hold off. Okay, I'm going to give you guys all the stats, all the numbers. You guys can check out the live stream for all the gameplay. Uh, everything is in there to, to show you my proof. Um, but I do want to talk about him as a character. First off, though, before I go any further than that, I do want to say a big shout out to Ale uh, for putting this together for me. Uh, you guys can see here, Ale is actually one of my most you say coveted and valuable members of my community. Thank you, Ale, for always stepping up, man. You're, you're a big part of this. Um, and I want to show you guys what he put together here. And... Um, this is a big this is a big deal this is, this is important to go over okay so first off just so everyone's on the same page uh what ale did for me is he put together a compilation of changes that were done before the release so i'm gonna move my screen uh up here okay actually no, i'll move right here so you guys can see it all so here uh go honey so he, he's, he's writing this uh go was insanely buffed from the kit update so he took my video that i made that was the kit update that i made a couple days ago from the official codex release and he compared it to what it is now so the compilations are actually pretty good changes so first off the weapon itself has actually had changes it went from 10 percent defense increase to 12 percent defense increase from a, a maxed out weapon uh the fighting spirit went from 10 percent increase to light damage to 12 percent increase to light damage which is what it is now uh so we got an increase of two percent there uh, the stats obviously remain the same on the weapons that change uh in terms of his basic attack 23 percent damage increase overall for his basic attacks that was increased as well too 9.5 percent damage increase for his core attack which is obviously very important because that's where a lot of his damage comes through and i want to say this right away he's a he's a really good breaking damage dealer we'll talk more about that in numbers very shortly okay uh basic skills around 10 percent damage increase you can see here the numbers 100 100 increase percentage increase on that so 10 percent is exactly right uh basic skills around nine percent damage increase uh support skill change uh support skill was not changed sorry qt did go up by nine percent as well too uh ultimate went up by nine percent and then five percent crit damage and light damage went to eight percent so instead of five percent now we're getting eight percent increase which is a good three percent change there um a2 and, and four not changed but a3 you actually get a 30 percent defense defense increase to 50 percent now so it was 30 now it's 50 and duration now is from 10 seconds to 15 seconds so all these buffs were occurring uh damage increase of alt versus bar, uh, break bar went from 30 percent to 60 percent uh versus no break bar went to 100 to 150 so we got ourselves a double increase or sorry 50 percent increase here 100 percent increase here okay so that was the big one uh basic passives 30 percent went to 60 percent for the, the the abdominal crush attack and the uh the heavy spirit attack and those are the massive buffs we got now even with all of those big changes that happen in live version, this is why it's so important, right? We have the codex version of it, and then the live version came out, and they changed everything. This is why it's so important to not necessarily rely on things like the codex and the leaks. And the codex is in-game, bro. That's crazy. So, let's talk about some numbers. I'm, you guys can watch the full gameplay, but I want to give you data. That's what I'm here for, okay? So, first off, we did a couple different fights on floor 29. Um, Gun He wore two different sets. We did a full eight-piece curse set, okay, with the following stats you guys can see there. And then we did four-piece monger and four-piece curse, okay? And we did a couple different tests. I'm going to show you guys both tests. So first off, we did floor 29 this time instead of 25 just to keep the, the, T, the, the CP, the combat power, at the white. And we killed the bear. So A0, the free one that we got, 60 seconds to kill the bear. He does really good DPS for a breaker. He actually does. Good DPS for a breaker. Uh, A1 went to half almost, to 36. So free to play, we're supposed to get a free A1. I would say stop here. All right, A2 is just break bar damage. Up to you if you want to go further. A3, this is where um, Almighty Break happens with his alt. Just so you guys are aware, we tested Jinu's Almighty Break, the light version, and we tested Gun He's. It's exactly the same. No difference in bar. It's exactly the same. All right, it's four bars with light elemental damage weakness, three bars with non or two bars with weakness. So we did all that, okay? Took 30 seconds to kill the boss. Really no change between 
A3 to A1. And the reason why A3 gives him 50% more defense when he casts his alt. So you need the alt up in order to get the benefits. And that doesn't happen early on unless you have somebody to support you. So having min, etc. Right? So those are important things. You also get a shield. You get damage reduction. So just so you guys are aware. So Almighty Brig the two bars against the Golem in white. Seven bars on light weakness Igris. But Igris has a reusable break bar, which means he takes more break damage naturally. So we tested it on uh, with the red bar. He does six. Then we also tested it on a couple different things. We tested it on Vulcan. He did two bars. Uh, that's reverse Vulcan, by the way. In, in the white, uh, we've, we did... Um uh, one of the demons with light element and it was exactly four bars with a greed set and that's exactly what Jinnu did with his almighty so it literally maps up to the same almighty damage that a Jinnu skill does the ultimate does the exact same thing so don't expect more essentially okay so it's not about the almighty break necessarily it's literally about the buffs that come with it so the 50 percent defense the shield and the extra damage reduction he's literally unkillable it's freaking bananas okay watch the video i did him versus the dragon alone he didn't die. He didn't die. I put three units against the dragon. They all died. All, all, all tank units too. So keep that in mind. Actually, no, that's not true. Not all three of them died because they had a healer. Hansi may kept them alive. But they were losing HP, like a lot of it. So they would have died without her. A4, uh, it's 12% more defense. A5, 24 second kill versus 30 second kill. Whales obviously go for that one. Here's some numbers that I want to show you guys real quick. We put the... I did my last attempt here with my guild uh, run. So we did A0 weapon, A5 gun he... Uh, you guys can see here, 65 million was the damage that he pulled off. Uh, Saw did, Sa did die here about a minute in, so kind of neglected her damage. But 65 million for him with an A0 weapon. A1 weapon, he went to 75 million, so it was a pretty big jump. I think this was just a good run, but you can see Saw when she's alive, still does more. She's an A10, by the way, weapon, an A10 Saw character. He's an A5 uh, gun he with an a a1 weapon so you guys can see it's not that far apart right for damage so when we did the a we went to a3 next or a2 next sorry uh he kind of dropped a little he went up actually in damage because she died so a little bit damage increased two 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 million no, two million yeah two million and then a5 i think it just we just did multiple runs we, we skipped a3 and four we went straight to a5 uh we found that 77 million was the top end I think, I think it was just, a, again, a good run. He could probably hit the, the 80s. Uh, he, he probably would match up to Suz 97 million in a good, in, if he's matched up evenly to her, like A, A10 and A10. Um, so I would say from a breaker perspective, he's probably the best DPS or the second best DPS. From a survival perspective, this guy does not die. He literally does not die. So you you will not lose you will never you will never lose him in a fight practically if you have the proper setup. Okay. Now we did a couple more tests real quick, just so you guys can see. We did it now with the warmonger set and the curse set. He did reach up to 73 million and then 68 million. So it was very evened out with warmonger set because this defense stack that he had, plus the curse set with more damage that he can deal, his damage was more consistently in the 70s. So you guys can definitely take that number as you want and run a four-piece warmonger with four-piece curse. Just remember with curse set, he does take more damage, uh, in incoming damage as well too. But with his shield constantly being up nonstop, he doesn't really, again, get affected by it. So um, that, was a good, that was a good setup, I think, to go for him as well. And again, we tested him in so many numerous different ways. And overall, here's my thoughts on it. Okay, here's my summary okay, of, of Gogun here. Um, summary does not die. Best breaker damage, similar to Saw 1 Maxed. I think that's that's fairly noticeable right away. Best breaker for sure in the game. Uh, we ma we matched him with uh, with Beck by the way, uh, Nam and all the other breakers, Emma etc. He definitely broke exactly the same as Beck because Beck has had a lot of updates obviously and buffs. Um, Nam Nam doesn't even stand a chance against him anymore. She's now second fiddle to all the rest of breakers. I think they've done that on purpose obviously because she had so she has such such a high breaking capacity. Uh, so for A1s, free to play for sure. Stop there. A3 dolphins or free to play if you want to push to that. It's up to you. And then A5 plus whales. Um, I call it alrighty break. I think that kind of happened in the stream and everybody kind of just loved that. So it's not an almighty break. It's an alrighty break. It's every, a lot of people are expecting the ultimate to do more of a break on the bars because it's an ultimate, but it's not the case. It's literally the same as Jinnu's light almighty break as well. Same bars, same damage, etc. Um, so overall, is gun he worth it? I think personally stop at A1 for now. See how the rest of it goes. Let's do some more tests while we do it. I think this was extensive, a lot of testing already. And I'm comfortable to say he's not top tier. He's one below. I put him in the same category as Wu. Um, but way better for damage. Breaking abilities, Wu, way better for damage. So yeah, a little bit higher maybe than Wu, but not top tier. I wouldn't put him at the top tier list. Anyways, guys, that's my take on it. Um, again, I'll put the... Um, 
sorry guys, 10 hours of this. Uh, I'll put the description, uh, I'll put the link of the live stream in the description. Go check it out. Uh, remember the first hour is, uh, first hour and a half maybe, first hour, is Blackwing, uh, Blackwing, Black Myth Wukong, so you can skip that and go straight to the SLA summons. Uh, we had a great summon, by the way. We did the ultimate summon. We got Wu and Gogan He in the same summon. What a, what a masterpiece that was. So a lot of fun stuff going on. We had a lot of jokes and laughs. And again, I want to thank everybody for joining me and spending your day with me. It's been a long one, 10 hours of streaming. God damn, guys. Uh, so again, Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.